in this short video, I'm going to go through how we draw the deflected shape and moment diagram for question 8 of test 1. Let's first consider the beam column junction. From the force applied above, we know that it's going to rotate in a clockwise direction. We know the left hand side of the beam must enter the fixed support at exactly 90 degrees. We can now start to draw the deflected shape of the column and the beam. The top of the column is pushed over to the left hand side and beneath the beam column joint the column bends out towards the right coming back to its pinned position. Due to the clockwise rotation of the beam column connection the left hand side of the beam is forced into sagging. In order for the beam to enter the fixed connection at 90 degrees the beam must experience a degree of hogging. This change between sagging and hogging gives rise to a point of contraflexion which we can mark on our diagram. At this point of contraflexion we know the beam is straight and the moment in the beam is zero. To the right of this point of contraflexure we have hogging and hence tension on the top side. On the left we have sagging and tension on the bottom. We can go around our diagram and highlight the side of the element which has tension on it. We've now completed our deflected shape diagram and can move on to drawing the bending moment diagram which we should draw directly beneath our deflected shape. Let's start by drawing the horizontal force on and then we'll consider the moments in that top member. At the very top of that member the moment must be zero. As we walk down the member we get further and further away from the applied force and hence the moment increases linearly. We must now consider what happens at the beam column connection. The moment coming into the beam column connection is resisted by moments generated in both the beam and the column and we know that the sum of the moments at this joint must be equal to zero. So we can divide this incoming moment between a moment generated in the column and a moment generated in the beam. From a reflected shape we know that the bottom half of the column has tension on the left hand side so we know we're drawing a moment diagram on the left hand side. The moment in the column decays to zero at its pin support. To draw the moment diagram for the beam we must first consider the amount of moment required at the beam column connection to provide equilibrium. Additionally, the moment diagram must pass through zero at the point of contraflexion. As there are no other loads applied to either the beam or the column, the moment diagrams are purely linear. The moment diagram clearly shows that on the right hand side of the beam we have hogging and on the left hand side of the beam we have sagging, as indicated in our deflected shape. We can now com complete this diagram by drawing on the reactions.